In other news, there is new information about the man seen in this exclusive 10 News video pointing a gun at officers during a drug investigation Monday in Logan Heights. Team 10 investigator Melissa Messiha spent the morning in court digging into his long criminal past. Melissa. And Derek, these are just a portion of the criminal documents I was able to pull from Enrique Aguilar's record. He is now out of the hospital facing a number of charges, including attempted murder. I discovered this is not the first time he's faced that charge. Who has a strap on him? This video shows the moments which led up to the shooting on the streets of Logan Heights. Me. You hear officers say to drop the gun several times before shots were fired. The man, later identified as Enrique Aguilar, falls to the ground. Three San Diego police officers then surround him before he was taken to the hospital for surgery. In this still shot from the video, you clearly see Aguilar pointing a weapon at officers. Police say he was hit at least once and will be okay. Team 10 discovered he should have never had a gun in the first place because of his criminal past. His record in San Diego County dates back more than 10 years from vehicle code violations to drug offenses. In 2010, he faced attempted robbery. The following year, Aguilar and two others were charged with attempted murder and first-degree robbery. Documents show he was connected to a local gang. Aguilar entered a plea deal and was sentenced to six years in prison. In the court file, we found a letter he wrote saying he's thankful to God that nobody got killed in this matter. He goes on to say, I wish I could take it all back so I could be with my family. I continuously apologize to the victim and my loved ones for the pain I'm putting them through. Aguilar, now in jail, faces three charges of first-degree attempted murder, attempted assault with a firearm, receiving stolen property, participating in a criminal street gang, and a felon in possession of a firearm. He's being held with no bail. The two officers who fired their weapons were not injured. Their names have not yet been released. Aguilar is scheduled to make his first court appearance in the next couple of days. Live in the newsroom, Melissa Masiha, Team 10.